Okay, in this tutorial we're going to see uh, the browse capabilities within junkyardfind.com. So here we find ourselves in the home page. We're going to go ahead and click on the browse link there. And that's going to open up all the different categories that are available within junkyardfind.com. Here we see the cars and trucks, parts, motorcycle parts, water sport parts, miscellaneous vehicle parts, uh, the dealership section, no parts here, just uh, fully functioning vehicles of any type. Cars, trucks, motorcycles, boats, etc. And uh, lastly, the tools category. Down below you'll see the, the same categories listed. Uh, the numbers represent the actual number of items listed within each of those separate categories. Uh, let's go ahead and click on cars and trucks and start browsing through that one. You'll notice a, a couple of subcategories pop up here parts and accessories, parts cars, and vintage parts. Uh, vintage parts consists of anything 1975 or older. And uh, it just separates it so it makes browsing a little bit easier. Let's, so we're looking for a part for something. Not sure what I'm looking for yet. So I'm going to take a look at the categories that we have available. And here's a lot of different uh, listings for anything conceivably possible for a vehicle. Detail supplies, glass, lighting, lamps, safety, weather stripping. It's got a category for everything here. Now uh, let's see, fuel in air system has quite a few items. Let's go ahead and uh, see what they got going in in that category. And you see it breaks it down into yet one more category. It breaks it down into four subcategories maximum. Most of them are three, some of them go into four, like exterior, interior bumps it down into another category. In this case, uh, fuel air system bumps it down into the fourth category. And uh, you'll see all those broken down here. In this case, uh, I'm looking for an air intake to supplement my miles per gallon and give me a little more uh, torque on it on the engine. This this uh, category has a lot of air intakes available. And as you see it has it's it's great. It has a uh, little thumbnail pics of the item and then we have the title here. The title is important in your item as you list it and we'll talk about that in the list your item tutorial. But anything that uh, a potential buyer would punch in this title bar here any of these words are going to come up. So if I look for intake all these intakes that come up. Chevy intake will uh, eliminate it a little bit further. So let's go ahead and uh, punch on that first title there and you'll see what we get. And there is the title of the part that we're looking at and a thumbnail. And it, it's been viewed five times. Some information about, uh, about the auction itself. The type, it's a buy it now. Uh, junkyardfind.com offers uh, buy it now only or an auction format either one that you would uh, you'd want to choose number of item he has 13 of these and it ends within 17 days here's the uh, meet the seller area the, the seller's name there feedback rating none yet you can view that seller's active auctions all the items that particular seller has listed or if you think something is wrong with the auction you can report it to us and we'll check it out make sure everything is legit on it. And here's the uh, item description. It has a nice description there, nice and short to the point. That's the way you should do it. And a nice main picture of the item. Um, also, if you have a, a car or truck, and you'll see it as we browse a little bit further, you can have a gallery pictures here and up to eight of those. And uh, payment methods, this uh, particular seller accepts cash. Money orders or cashier's check. The site is integrated with uh, Google Checkout and PayPal as well. Uh, as a seller, you can accept any form of payment method that you would like. And you do that from the sell your item form we'll talk about later. Ships from the United States, shipping costs, domestic are 22, international is 35. Got all the information I need there as a potential buyer. I like it. I can just push buy it now and it'll take me through to the checkout process. And we'll talk about that later as well. This is strictly the browse tutorial. And it gives you a little more information about the shipping will be ship payment made in full when processed. Uh, it gives you the uh, seller's particular uh, shipping information there. So that's uh, 
a car and truck part in the browse category. Let's go back to browse and see what's going on. Kind of like that one. Let's go take a look in the motorcycle section as well. And again, it's uh, it mirrors the car and trucks. It has uh, parts categories, a parts bike categories, and uh, again, uh, the vintage category, which is 75 and older. Uh, let's take a look at the parts and accessories. Once again, it breaks it down in any conceivable motorcycle part category that you can think of. Uh, in this case, uh, seats. Let's take a look at some motorcycle seats. And there are all the featured seats within uh, the motorcycle category. There's a bunch of them listed there again. Uh, the thumbnail picture and the title. Go ahead and click on the title. And it opens up into that particular auction. Again, the main title of the item, the thumbnail, the meet the seller information detailed description on this one and the main picture of a nice spider web seat that is a great looking motorcycle seat and we'll continue on to another category let's take a look at the tool category click on tools and it breaks it down into uh, the subcategories of air tools hand tools power tools safety and protective equipment shop equipment and two belts or boxes in storage of any type uh, shop equipment let's take a look at what they got there breaks it down into uh, more subcategories of any type of shop equipment you can possibly think of uh, looks like we got some lathes there let's take a look at a lathe and this will just feature all the lathes that are listed uh, the thumbnails there and the particular titles. Let's go ahead and click on the American Turnmaster. Again we have our title of the item, the thumbnail, layout pretty good. And the main picture of the item. Yeah this seller is one taking advantage of a great option here. Uh, they have put their shop phone number directly within their listing. And uh, we'll get into more of that in the sell your item form but that's a, a great tool. We don't have any commissions here at junkyardfind.com so you're allowed to put your phone number or your website URL directly in your listing which is a great uh, advantage you can just uh, if you're as a buyer you're cruising through here you can just call them up and ask them questions about about the item in it or purchase it outright you don't need again you don't need to make the purchase through our site so that's tools and miscellaneous vehicles and water sports the dealership category is a little bit different like I said they're not parts they're fully functioning vehicles so here are people have listed some cars for sale so let's take a look at how that would break down the subcategories within the dealership area in cars and trucks anyway are domestic and imports and then it goes into all the the uh, makes of the the vehicles for sale not the particular models, just the makes. So if you're looking for uh, Plymouth Barracuda for say, it would be under Plymouth. You could of course put Plymouth Barracuda in the search title, it would come up. And all the Plymouths uh, or the uh, Cudas will come up. Sport Fury Convertible, looks like there's a nice 1970 Hemi Cuda for sale. You got $90,000 laying around, that one's yours. But then you get to see a uh, general idea of how the uh, fully functioning vehicles are listed. There's the title and there is the description and here's the picture and this guy uh, did a great job utilizing the gallery features and again we'll talk more about that in the sell your item form. Phone numbers in his listing that's the way it's done. The browse capability alright so that uh, gives you a general idea of browsing through the site it can be fun, you know. Right now, there's uh, we are new and uh, we're we're growing slowly, so the categories um, it's kind of neat to watch each one get filled in slowly. Right now, it's fun to go in and, and browse through each category this way to see what gets added or what you may be looking for. And of course, we have the standard search the yard if you just want to go directly to whatever item uh, you may be looking for. So that's the browse in the junkyard, and uh, we appreciate your time and checking us out. And uh, check out junkyardfind.com, your online parts source.